Well, there's a lot of things you can do on a warm, wet spring day in uh, in the Oregon area, but I'm I'm here with with Norm from Lily Miller and. We're going to go do some slugging, aren't we? <laughs> We're going to do a lot of slugging today. You know, it's been, it has been a little bit warmer, so those slugs have definitely come out. And by the way, we have a couple of slug hunters from next door. Bring out Bradley the slug hunters. And Kevin, <laughs> who went out there bright and early this morning and got all these specimens of slugs and snails. Yeah, I think we forget about snails a lot of yes, times. Yes, we do, but believe it or not, these were out, right out in the backyard here in Salem, and they got out there about 8 o'clock this morning, and they found about three or four different snails and also a variety of slugs. And you know, one thing you had said earlier, Norm, that I think everybody needs to hear again, really the smaller ones we all think the big ones are oh they're so dangerous they do so much damage but really it's the smaller ones that do the damage it's exactly right the smaller they are because they eat more to get to that size and you'll find that the smaller ones do do a lot more destructive damage than the larger There's ones and both the male and female can reproduce and they yeah. can lay up to 200,000 eggs wow so it doesn't really matter what size, but the smaller ones are the ones that do most of the damage. So we've seen them. We know what they can do in a yard. What can we do to, to control the little buggers? Well, you've got several different things you can control them with. First of all, you can use a Corey's uh, a slug product here, the death product, which is a meal. And when you apply the meals, you want to just sprinkle it like you're putting salt in soup and don't get it directly onto the foliage of the plants. Well, unless you're my Aunt Bertha. She liked a lot of salt in her soup. So. Well, I know. Well, Aunt Bertha, well, let's, let's think of Aunt Bertha a little bit later on. But, uh, and then the other thing you can do is if you have some heavy underbrush, you can go to the pellets. Uh, which is also a meta product that's in here by Corey's. And the pellets usually are used around uh, heavier brush areas like the junipers and tams because the pellets will fall Falls through. So even a ground cover, if you have a thick ground a cover, ground that would cover. work better. Because okay. that's where they reproduce. They get under wood, they then have those ground covers right next to the ground, and that's where you'll find the eggs, and that's also where you'll find the little tiny slugs. Okay, and those are the ones that we're really trying to get the best Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Now, what if I'm what if I'm you know wanting to go with something like a liquid? I see you have a bottle of stuff here. Yes, you have the Deadline, which is also a meta product. It's also in a paste form. A lot of people have used it over the past, but you simply open the top and just apply it. Just little droplets. You do not want to stand and just squeeze the whole bottle out in a 12-inch square <laughs> area, as my wife does. You just simply want to drip it, drop and drop and drop around the plant or around the vegetables. That we kind of call it. This year's vegetable insurance. Insurance, yeah. Because so many people are planting vegetable gardens. That would be a great one for if you have containers, too, because slugs get in containers. Absolutely. They'll crawl right up the nice. side of the container. So it does work extremely well in the paste form. Is and this one, what's the, uh, it seems like Deadline 2, but it says Rain Tough. Rain Tough. It's got a little bit of a coating on it, so it's, it doesn't break down as fast okay. in the rain. And that's basically all the difference of it is. But it is called Rain Tough, and it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, and we have a lot of rain down here where they don't have as much in California, so we, de we developed this product a nice. couple of years ago for the Pacific Northwest. Well, if I'm, if I'm more organically conscious and I'm worried about stuff like that, what about this, uh, this bait here? This is called Worry Free by Lily Miller. This is an iron phosphate product, and uh, it's, a, it's an imported product. It's in a pellet form, and they're very harmless, actually, except to the slugs. Uh, you simply sprinkle them around in the garden area, around vegetables or flowers, but it's safe around wildlife, animals, nice. children, pets, anything like that. Uh, and it lasts about the same period of time as does the Meta products. Well, you know, and there's always things like this, this copper tape here that works well, too. I find that those work especially well with raised beds. They do, they do. And a lot of people use the copper tape, uh, and that helps to, you know, discourage them from coming into the raised bed areas. Well, and last but not least, I, I cannot believe I, any human would use beer for this purpose. This is your favorite <laughs> thing, yes. You can buy, you can get these little snail gels, and you can fill them up with your, your favorite brewski, and fill it about half full, and then you can consume the remainder of it at the end. <laughs> And, and you do have to change this out. This isn't something you can just pour in and leave. You no, really have you to have to change it. it out because it will go flat, then that will not attract the slugs into that area. Well, you know, the Northwest is certainly a beautiful place to live, and if you love gardening, you do have to deal with slugs and snails. Here's a whole list of ways to do it. If you want more information, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll kick you over to the Lily Miller website. Norm, I have to say it is always exciting to come out but and chat with you. But the rain's coming, the that's slugs right. be in. That's right. <laughs>